What's up guys, this is Travis from I Bring Back. Welcome to your 16th tutorial. And what we're going to do today is set up a menu um, for the for our actual phone. So we can press like the menu button on our phone and have it, have it do something. And basically uh, make a selection from that menu. Which will in turn open up an activity. Um, so basically first I want you guys to go into... Or we're going to set up a new class first. So we're just going to right click. You guys know how to do this by now, I'm sure. But we're going to call it Suite. Um, and just get this set up. Basically, all we're going to do for this is extends activity. And if you guys don't know what I'm doing, if this is the first video you watch, we kind of explained all this in the past few videos. But um, So go back and check those out if you just found the channel. But um, then we're also going to override the method and just go on to the on create. So, and within here, we want to set up our set content view. And we're going to set that equal to r dot layout dot uh, just splash for now. We'll change it later. We just want to get it to um, do something. Um, so, there we go. Now we just have to set it up in the manifest again as you guys probably guessed but uh, we're just gonna copy one of these activities that isn't the launcher and paste it below and then change the class to the class name which we just created which was sweet and also just the reference name to all uppercase sweet so there we go um, basically got that class set up now I want you to open up our basically whatever class you want to have your menu um, and I'm gonna. I think probably the menu Java class is the one that you most likely will want to uh, do that in. So what I'm gonna do first is basically minimize everything within the onCreate method, and you do that by just clicking this button here. Now it's not gone, but it's just minimized, as you can see. And also I'm gonna minimize that on pause method. So next thing that we need to do is we need to set up. Um, in a menu XML and how we do that we're gonna create a new folder go to project new folder and call this menu just click OK and then we're gonna right click on that and go new other Android XML file and we're gonna label this main underscore menu dot XML and as you can see before it it was selected on a layout but um, this time it's selected on a menu so it kinda knows but if if it doesn't make sure you select the menu radio button that's kinda familiar but uh, then just hit finish and there you go we're gonna jump into the XML over here and we just basically want to set up our menu to be um, just have two two items within the menu so we're gonna go whoops open that up a little bit and like I say we're gonna put two items in a menu that's what goes in a menu is an item so we're gonna hit item and uh, it knows it for us and then we're gonna label this so we have a reference so we're gonna add an ID to it uh, again this should be kinda of familiar and we're gonna say at plus Android or at plus ID and we're gonna call this one menu suite and then we're also gonna say Android alphabetic um, shortcut and basically what this is is um, if you use your key keypad and just press like for example I'm gonna say the letter S for shortcut if you press the letter S on your when your menu is open it's gonna select that that option instead of actually using the touch screen and you can also do that uh, with like numbers and other stuff like that and then the other thing we want this item to have is a title. So we're going to say Android. And then as you can see here are the options we have for our menu class. And we're just going to click title. And then we're going to set this equal to open uh, suite activity. There we go. And then all we have to do now is close off that activity the same way as we have with other uh, basically other uh, items and again we're just gonna copy and paste this um, so we have two items and we're just gonna change this from menu suite to menu toast 
and I'll get into that later uh, the next tutorial but uh, and then we also want to say um, open toast here and change the shortcut to T there we go we have our menu set up now we need to reference it in the Java class so again I minimize both the pause and create and we need to set up basically the menu to be recognized within the Java and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna say public meaning basically that it's uh, accessible to anyone in the class or and then we're gonna say boolean which is like a true false statement uh, like for light switches we're gonna use uh, boolean if we get into that and then the method we want to use is called on create uh, options menu and this will take in this will take in a menu item for its parameters so we're gonna say menu and we're gonna label it uh, under lowercase menu so basically anytime we want to reference the menu that's being passed in we're gonna use that lowercase one and now within here or first we're gonna add this import and then within here it's saying to add a return statement so we're gonna do that first and we're just going to say return uh, true because it's looking for a true or false since this boolean but uh, we're also going to say super referring to the super class on create um, options menu and we're going to pass in this this menu that's being passed into here yeah this is kind of confusing we'll, we'll get into the explanation of the super and stuff like that later or in my Java series I'll get into that as well but the other thing we need for a menu is a menu inflator so that's basically gonna inflate uh, the menu so we're gonna call it awesome and again we have to import this because it doesn't recognize what a menu inflator is so we're gonna set that equal to um, basically a method and it's called get menu inflator pretty simple I mean obviously not if you don't know what's going on for the most part but it's just a method that you can use and it'll get the menu inflator so there we go now we want to use the awesome or the menu inflator to do something so we're gonna say awesome because that's what we label it and we're gonna say inflate and click here it takes in an int and a menu so uh, for our int what we want to pass in is basically that menu we set up so we're gonna say R and then menu dot main menu there we go uh, we have a reference to that menu now and we're also gonna say or we're gonna keep this menu as well because that's what we passed in for this parameter and there we go we have the our on create menu option or on create options menu set up now we also need to set up something called um, that will handle the choices that we make which item has been selected so again we're gonna say public uh, boolean because it's going to return a true or false if the item was selected so we're going to say options uh, item selected and this will take in a menu uh, menu item and we're going to just label it item so there we go we need to import the menu item as well and uh, this is a method both of these are methods that uh, you have to use this isn't something we made up so uh, yeah those are our methods and then within here it's giving us that error again because we aren't returning true or false so we're just gonna say return false down here and uh, now within here we want to set up a switch in case again and what the switch is going to be is it's basically going to check the ID of the menu item that is selected. So we're going to say, again, we passed in an item here, and we can we're going to type item, but we can use a method called get ID, or get item ID, I should say, and that'll just basically reference um, the Java, or the I'm sorry, the XML that we set up for that main menu XML over here and we set up the IDs there for both those items so that's what it's going to look for and again we're going to set up our case methods here uh, for r dot id dot um, get uh, I'm sorry what was it id dot menu suite and uh, again a colon 
and then we're also going to set up um, we're going to just say return true and then we're also going to set up another case called r.id.toast and I'll, I'll get into oops, it's menu toast I'm sorry menu toast and then colon and uh, return true as well and then we also want it to actually do something besides just return true but for the toast I'm gonna get into toast in the next tutorial so I'm just gonna say set up in next tutorial and then as for this menu within here what we want to do is just open up our new menu or activity that we created and this is kind of review as well so we do that by activity and then we're going to say new intent and uh, the basics dot sweet and this will reference that new activity that we set up and there we go um, basically we have everything set up uh, again this is our menu uh, activity within our, our uh, our menu activity for our application and then um, it has these two methods within there as, as well as on create and on pause and what we're going to do is we're going to create a menu uh, basically create the options menu and we're also going to get the options item um, and see what which one was selected so we're going to do that by the switching case and then if it was this reference we're going to open a new activity I'm just going to save this and run it real quick make sure everything's correct and working because just like in that last tutorial thought it would work but it didn't and uh, you know that was embarrassing so hopefully this one will work um, and I'll just kind of talk through let's see here let's see just quickly talk through a menu inflator that's gonna be um, what we set up and that's what's gonna inflate here um, and then once that's inflated there's option items basically what's called items and within that menu there's two items those are what we're looking for if it's this one it's going to start that activity All right now I'm just going to check this out make sure it works since it should be loaded oops what am I doing that meant that act that little application was just too cool I had to check it out and see this is what I'm talking about you can use this menu button on your phone to open up this pretty sweet and then we just have to hit open sweet activity and bam there we go we open up that new sweet activity all right well I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we'll talk about toast and basically get this other menu item doing something sweet but uh till then I'll catch you guys later peace